Hi everyone, San Bonani, Nijanda Pekaya. This is Ms. Dube and welcome to Ms. Dube to the Rescue. This show is to help learners tackle the challenges that they face at school and work walk with them throughout their academic journey, right? So today we are going to be doing number problems because it has come to our realization that a lot of learners struggle when it comes to number problems. Parents, remember that you don't do the work for them, but you help them with the work, right? So before we start, we are going to be doing our warm-up activities. Let's go, let's go. Everyone stand up, stand up, stand up. Okay, let's breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. In. Out. Breathe in. And out. In again. And out. One last time, breathe in. Hold it. And out. Smile and learn. Hey, Dino, what's the matter? I see you're worried. Do you know what all these crosses are for? Mm -mm, mm -mm. You don't? That's the plus sign for additions. Do you know how to add? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't worry, Dino. I'll teach you how. Hey, Dino, wake up. You have to look after all these eggs. Do you know how many are there? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Let's add them up. Adding up means putting together or grouping together several things. Today we're going to add up Dino's eggs. Are you up for it? Let's see how many eggs there are. Up here, we have one and two, and down there, we have one. So all together, they sum one, two, and three. Three! There are three eggs. Two plus one equals three. We have completed our first addition. Adding up two plus one gives you three. This has been your first addition, Dino. Are you happy? Wow, it looks like you have more eggs to look after. Do you know how many eggs are there now? Shall we add them up? Up here, there are one and two eggs. And down there, we have one, two, and three eggs. We have to add two plus three. So all the eggs together would sum up one, two, three, four, and five. We have five eggs. Two plus three equals five. The result of adding up two plus three is five. Well done, Dino. Do you like adding up? Whoa, more eggs are falling down. Let's add them up to find out how many eggs in total you'll have to look after, okay? Up here, there are one, two, three, four, and five eggs. And down there, we have one, two, and three eggs. We have to add five plus three. So the result is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have eight eggs. Five plus three equals eight. Well done, Dino. Today, you need to look after eight dinosaur eggs. Now you know how to add up. Whoa, Dino, you got yourself two huge ice creams. It'll take you long to eat them both. Wow, you were really hungry, weren't you? Now that we're full, we can practice additions. What do you say? Come on, let's add. How many ice creams are there? Up here, we have one and two. And down there, we have one. Go ahead, you do the adding. I'll give you a few seconds. Got it? 
Let me try. All ice creams together would be one, two, three. Three! There are three ice creams. Two plus one equals three. We just did our first addition. The result of adding two plus one is equal to three. Well done, Dino. Let's try another one. There's one ice cream up here and three down there. Why don't you add them up? Take your time. You got it? If we add these ice creams together, we'll have in total one, two, three, and four. Four! We have four ice creams in total. One plus three equals four. Shall we carry on? Now you'll have to add these two ice creams up here to those two ice creams down there. I'll give you a few seconds to add them up. How did that go? You got it? The result of adding up two plus two is one, two, three, and four. Four! There are four ice creams. Two plus two equals four. Let's try another one. You'll have to add these four ice creams up here to the one ice cream down there. Let's go for it. You got it? The result of adding up four plus one is one, two, three, four, and five. Five! There are five ice creams. Four plus one equals five. Shall we try the last one? We have to add these three ice creams up here to those two ice creams down there. Let's go for it. it the result of adding up three plus two is one two three four and five five there are five ice creams three plus two equals five and what are you going to do with all this ice cream dino are you going to eat it you're going to feel sick dino wouldn't it be best if you save him for later <laughs> my my dino you're never full Hey, sorry. What's the matter? I see you're worried. Do you know what all those lines are for? <laughs> you don't? They're the subtraction symbol. The minus sign. Do you know how to subtract? <laughs> don't worry, sorry. I'll teach you how. Whoa! These cupcakes look awesome, sorry. What is it? Are you hungry? Come on. Don't be shy. Have one. In one bite? You're never full, sorry. Do you know you've just done a subtraction without realizing it? We subtract to know how many things we have left after taking away some of them, just like you did with these cupcakes. For example, before there were three cupcakes on the table and you've eaten one. So if we take one away from three, there will be one and two cupcakes left. 3 minus 1 equals 2. Well done! We have done our first subtraction. See how easy it was? Yum, yum! These cupcakes are mouth-watering. But wait! Sorry! You've subtracted again without realizing. How many are there left this time? There were 5 cupcakes and you've eaten 3. So, if we take away three from five, there will be one and two cupcakes left. Two! Five minus three equals two. Awesome! Are you still hungry? There's nothing we can do with you, sorry, is there? On the table, there were seven cupcakes and you've eaten four of them. If we take away four from seven, one, two, three, and four, 
The result is 1, 2, and 3. 3! 7 minus 4 equals 3. Good job, Sari. Do you like subtracting? What are you playing? You've got perfect <laughs> aim. That's a great way to learn how to do subtractions. Would you like to practice for a while? Let's find out how good my aim is. There are one, two, and three balloons. And I'm going to see if I can burst one of them. The subtraction we need to do is three minus one. This means there are three balloons and I have to burst one. I'm going to aim well to see how many I'll have left. Fantastic! I aimed well. Let's see how many there are now. One and two. There are two balloons left. The result of subtracting three from one equals two. My aim is truly good. <laughs> Some balloons are flying away. There are one, two, three, and four balloons. And I'm going to try to aim at two of them. How many balloons will there be left? We need to subtract four minus two. This means that out of four balloons, we need to take away two. I'm going to aim well to see how many I'll have left. One and two. Yes. Let's see how many balloons we've got left. One and two. There are two balloons left. The result of subtracting four from two is two. I'm so good at shooting the slingshot. <laughs> You've let more balloons fly away. There are one, two, three, four, and five balloons. How many will there be left if I aim at two of them? The subtraction we need to do is five minus two. I'll aim at two out of five balloons. What will the result be? One and two. Amazing. Let's see how many we've got left. One, two, and three. We've got three balloons left. The result of subtracting five from two is three. I love playing with my slingshot. <laughs> you've let more balloons fly away. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six balloons. How many will there be if I aim at three of them? The subtraction we need to do is six minus three. Out of six balloons, I'll aim at three. What will the result be? One, two, and three. Yes. Let's see how many I've got left. One, two, and three. There are three balloons left. Six minus three equals three. Doing subtractions is great fun. <laughs> Smile and learn. Okay, so that was our math lesson for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. And remember that even if you got some wrong, it doesn't mean that you are not as smart, but it basically means that you need more practice. So let me give you a piece of advice. The minute you see the word all together, it means that you are either going to add or multiply, right? But when you see the word, how many left? When you see the word left, it means subtraction or division. Take that with you until metric, I promise you are never going to struggle again, right? That's it from us today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget that there's going to be a prize at the end of the, of the year. So remember to always engage with us. Whatever question you have, or if there's a homework activity that you don't understand and you want our help, write it down there by the comments and we are going to um, get to you and help you with that. But remember parents, don't do the work for them, help them with the work. Thank you. Please help us by subscribing and liking this video.
Hola, hola, two and three, Jordan City. Oh.